Welcome to EliteGuitarist.com. My name is Ines Tomé. We will play the second movement today, the Andante Religioso. First of all, I would like to thank Guitar Salon International for letting me borrow this beautiful instrument. It's a 2017 Jochen Rötel guitar. And if you want more information about it, you can click on the link in the video description to guitarsalon.com. The second movement of La Cathedral is entitled Andante Religioso. And it's a very pastoral and choral-like piece with a very calm mood. So let's get started. Um, the piece is in B minor, like the other movements as well. And that's where we start our first chord. Bar number one is a B minor chord in the seventh position. So the version I'm looking at has a little a little pickup, which I usually don't play. If you like this pickup and if you like to play it, then it's a slide from a D to F sharp and you can play that on the second string that will be the third fret to the seventh fret or on the third string if you like it a little darker then the slide is from the seventh fret to the eleventh fret and from there on we move on so we stay in the seventh position and the melody now um, moves a step down to E, back up to F sharp. You can just hold the bar if you want, then to G, to F sharp again, to E on the third string, and back to our B minor chord. So now we have to think about the rhythm a little bit it's a dotted rhythm so when you just think eight notes in your head it's like one and two and one more time three and four and first part of our phrase. The whole phrase is four measures long. That was like the first two measures. So that's where we end in measure two. And then we move down. We still stay on, the melody stays on F sharp, but we move down to the third finger on F sharp. So that's the seventh fret. We are now in the fifth position. So 
for this chord here, we need the first finger on the G on the fifth fret D string, then another D and the B on the seventh fret. I start in the middle of measure two. in the seventh position in the fifth position so I'll just play three two one in the fifth position a major now for the next chord you leave the third finger down and just put the fourth finger back on this F sharp on the seventh fret and a D in the bass so you switch from this a major chord measure three To this D major chord and the end of the phrase measure four we have this chord this E minor chord here um, it's an E on the fifth string and it's on seventh fret then ninth fret B eighth fret on the second string the G now we have this beautiful passing note this E sharp so the E moves to the E sharp. Just slide up the first finger. Pretty easy. And the phrase ends on the dominant, on like an F sharp major chord. Um, you play this in the sixth position. So fourth finger, fifth string, third finger, fourth string, first string or third string. You have to think about this third finger. It is easy if you leave it on the string and slide up, but it gets really noisy. One way to get rid of this noise is to lean a little bit into your, into the left, the left side of your finger. And that way you can slide up a little easier. Don't press too hard. Don't leave the finger down with too much pressure because then it gets even more noisy. And the side of your finger, usually you have less callus on the side of your finger. So it just sounds smoother when you shift. Okay, so. In my opinion, the, the most right chord in this whole first four measures is this G major chord here in the fifth position, right on measure three. This is just a, the brightest chord. G major always, especially on a guitar, sounds very bright and very happy. And um, this is something you really want to bring out. So you can um, reinforce that by just playing a little brighter. And then the chords itself will darken towards the end of the phrase. So think about what you like and what, what's your overall idea with this piece. How do you hear this piece? Maybe you have different versions, heard different versions, and maybe you like one version particularly well. Just find out why you like this version better. Maybe it's because the dotted rhythm is a little more one way or a little more the other way and just make it a deliberate choice. Again, it shouldn't happen just randomly. Um, you you want to really make this choice and make it a certain way because that's what you want to hear.